And now, another tale of Doug. The unknown TARDIS roommate. Through even the early days of the Time War, Doug was there. Through and through, ready to face the danger and excitement. Whoa, man! Did we crash land? Whoa! Another body, man? Are you kidding me? Did, did you hit your head on the console again? What I did, I did without choice. You always regenerate without choice, man. You go through bodies like water. You know something? You're regenerating too much. I can quit regenerating any time I want to. <laughs> oh man, no way, no way, Jose, man. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, don't call me the doctor, by the way. Uh, I'm no longer worthy of that name. Not the doctor. Wait a minute. You're not that cactus guy, are you? Because that guy sucked. <laughs> No, I am not the cactus guy. Would you listening? Look, I am the same man you signed the roommate agreement with. It's just, I no longer wish to be called the doctor. I chose this body to be a warrior. Ah, midlife crisis, huh? I get it. So you want me to uh, call you the warrior then? No, I don't want to be called that either. All right, all right. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Beardy? No. Captain Grumpy? God! Sing yellow bandolero? Just stop! No more! Alright, alright, man. Hey, that's cool. Hey, I just wanted to come and say thank you for bringing back the round things and not the salad bowls. And, uh, I don't know about this coral thing, man. I don't know if it's gonna last. Doug, tell me something. I'm on my ninth body now. How come I've never seen you regenerate? Because I'm careful, man. I eat a vegan diet, green tea, celery, carrots, pears, all the good stuff, man. I, I, I mean, I, I could uh, write a diet for you on the, on the whiteboard. I, God! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Man, that really ticks me off. Well, I'm gonna try to be more careful, as you say. No free radicals, you think? No free radicals, man. Yeah, I'll stick to that diet on the whiteboard. Whenever you get it back. Or I get it back. Are we in the 80s again? Never mind. I'm really cheesed off, man. I'm gonna have to go get some ramen noodles. You want some? No. I'm a warrior now. I no longer eat ramen. Are you sure? Well, all right. All right. You want the chicken or You want the beef or after the events of the end of time and the Tenth Doctor's explosive regeneration, the Eleventh Doctor finds himself facing the disapproval of Doug. Alright, alright, Doctor. New rule. No more regenerating inside the TARDIS. What do you mean? I regenerate inside the TARDIS like half the time. It gives me comfort. It doesn't give me comfort, man. You used to do it wisely, responsibly. You'd lay on the ground, you'd say a few words, You'd find your zen, you'd yeah. just have a little flash of light, and that was it, you're done. Yeah, 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 I still do all that. No, no way, Jose, man. Now you do it standing up, which is very unhealthy posture problems. I've not experienced any problems. Oh, yeah? Well, how about me, man? You're like the Time Lord sprinkler of Arton energy here, dude. <laughs> you're blowing out the hexagons right oh, here. Oh, hexagons! Yeah, one, two, Oh, and the coral beams right when I'm starting to like them. Yeah, man, a stray bolt, I think, hit one of my ferns in the back. Oh, yeah, man, you gotta rein that in. Oh, you know, I was holding that one in, though, for like three weeks. Three weeks? It's like trying not to pee for three weeks, man. I know. It's a wonder you're still even here. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, Doug. I'll no longer regenerate inside the TARDIS or standing up. And, oh, maybe this time the TARDIS will repair herself again, and... Give me a new Sonic, eh, sweetie? Hey, how many times I repair the TARDIS, I make the Sonics me! You? Yeah! Yeah, Doug, the Sonic repaired? Never mind. Wait, you think this thing's alive or something? It's not. <coughs> well, you should tell me those things once in a while. I tried to, man. You know, I put your reminders on the whiteboard. And God damn it! <laughs> Where'd the whiteboard go? 
You probably destroyed it with one of your stray little regen bolts. I probably did. Oh, Doug, I'm sorry, Doug. You know what? I should say thank you. So this is me saying thank you. Thank you, Doug. <coughs> Just trying to help him. Well, you know, I really appreciate it. I, I love the joke here to look after the old girl when I'm not around. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm glad we can I'm glad we can hash this out, man. You know, man to man, mano to mano, like a couple of bros, huh? <laughs> yeah, I hope that doesn't change. Oh, of course <laughs> not, Doug. It'll never change. We'll always be bros, Doug. All right, so we're agreed. No more regenerating and standing up. No more trashing the TARDIS. No more crash landings. You, you know? Yes, of course, of course. Nothing could go wrong if I don't do any of those things. Yeah, yeah, nothing could go wrong except there's a fail-safe. Just watch out. If you do that too much, the TARDIS, it might just, like, tip over and pull you right out like a teapot, man. <laughs> yeah. Like that would ever happen. I'll tell you what, Doug. No more going overboard and no more crash landings, all right? All right, yeah, all right. That's good. I'm glad we hashed this out. I'm gonna go check on that fern of Rasslin in the back, okay? You go check on fun, and here we go! Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs>